Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to block access to the web through the ads in some of the free apps that you have on your Navi. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right here. Go to the memory game. Click on the ad. There it goes. And you can see that it would take you to YouTube, which is somewhere I don't want my daughter to be. But she can access it through her memory application, which is not good. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to go to the menu. Go to mommy mode. Let me enter my passcode. Alright, we are now in mommy mode. What I'm going to show you is an app that I, down I downloaded it earlier and then I uninstalled it so I could show you how I did this. And I got it from One Mobile Market right here. And if you don't have One Mobile Market, it's very easy to get. I posted a video about it earlier along with the Amazon App Store. So you can check that out if you need to download this market. It's a really cool market. Okay. I'm going to search for App Protect. You can see it pulls up a good list of applications that should do what I want it to do. But I did try a lot of these, and um, they were a little glitchy. And I'll show you what I'm talking about once I get to... Let me show you this one, and I'll show you why those other ones were not what I wanted. This one right here, Application Protection. It's a really good application. I actually have it on my phone, and I've had it on there for a while to keep my daughter out of certain applications on my phone that she doesn't need to be in. So, I uninstalled it earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and download it and install it again. See, it's downloading right up here. Doesn't take that long. My screen just switched. Okay, there it is right there. Download complete. I'm going to click on it. Go down to the bottom. Lighting in here is really bad. And that says install. Okay. And you can see it didn't take long. It says done. It says done, and then there's open right there. Going to open. It's going to come up with please input the, the unlock code. Now it comes with a preset code, very generic code. It's 8888. You can change that in a minute. So you enter that. And it takes you right here. It has two applications already in it that it's protecting. It's the application protection and package installer, which is um, what you use to actually install your applications. I'm going to leave those there. They don't really, don't really matter. You can actually click on them and hit delete if you don't want to protect those applications. They don't bother me, so I'm going to leave them right there. I'm going to go to Add. Okay, so I clicked on the Add button. It's going to bring up my whole list of the applications that I have on here. You can see that. The two that I want to keep her out of is the stock browser. This is the Android browser. Can't really see. Let's see. check it. Okay, you can see it is checked. There's a green check mark next to browser. And then we're going to go down to the Navi browser that comes pre installed, which is the Maxthon mobile browser. And I'm going to click on that as well. There we go. And there's the green check mark. All right, you're going to go down and click OK. And you can see that those two were also added to the list. Now, before I exit out of here, I am going to go into the setting. It gives you a whole list of options. Enable protection. You can leave this checked so that they can't access through the web through the ads. Um, if you uncheck it, then the applications are not going to be protected anymore. Um, other options, I really don't go into much of anything. You can kind of check it out if you want to. But I'm going to go into... Set unlock code because it does come with a pretty much generic 8888 code. And I'm gonna put in my own. There we go. All right, so I have my my code set in here now. I'm gonna back out of here. Back out completely. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna 
go back into kids mode to show you what happens now if you click on an ad that's inside of one of the apps. We'll go to this memory game, which I know has an ad in it. It's the one that we used before. And you can see there's the ad right there. Now if I was to click on it, it takes me to the screen right here. Now the only way <clears throat> to actually get past this screen to connect to the internet is to enter your unlock code, which if your child does not know the code, there's no way for them to get through it. They can type in anything they want, and there is a key with a lock right there, and it does nothing. You can hit the back arrow, it does nothing. This question mark right here, it's very interesting, shows you what the original code is. It does nothing now since I've already changed that code. You can also type in a sentence in the setting in the application that's kind of like a, a reminder of what your code is. Um, date of birth, anniversary, something like that. I don't really use it because I um, remember my code. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And we're still at this screen. Now the problem that I was having with the other applications, the other protection applications, was that every time... Let's see if I can get that to show you. Okay. So on the other applications, anytime I hit the back button, it would take me to the mommy mode, which was not good. So, you can see now I am tapping and tapping and it's not taking me anywhere. So it appears that the back button, the search button, the menu button, all of them have been disabled. You can see they don't do anything. They're not going to take, take you anywhere from this screen. So the only way to actually get out of the screen, sorry about that, is to hit the home button. And by hitting the home button, it takes you back to kids mode. So, let's try another one. I'm just going to show you that it's on all of the apps. Okay. There is Bank of America apps. So we're going to click on that right there. And you can see it took me back to the screen. So there's no way that you're going to get to the browser or to the internet from the ads and the applications. And again, you can't push any of these buttons except for the home button, which is going to take you right back here. Now this is just a quick fix. I know Nabby is going to send out an, app, an update in January um, to address this issue as well. So... I just figured for right now this, you know, it, it does work and it, it's, I think it's pretty much what Nappy's going to do too, is uh, going to require a passcode. Um, but just so you know, a lot of your free apps do have ads in them, that's, that's why they're free. Um, the only way to avoid that is to download the paid version. There are some apps that don't have paid versions, um, for instance... Angry Birds does not have a paid version. It has different applications, the Angry Birds Seasons, and so on and so forth like that, that do have paid versions, but the Angry Birds original itself does not have a paid version. So you will have ads in that application. So I hope this helped some of you on here. I know it helped me a lot. I wanted to figure it out because I don't want my daughter accessing the web, downloading, installing, or buying anything that she doesn't need to. Um... And that said, I'll be uploading more videos um, on just different little tricks and stuff. So, okay.